guys today i'm going to make dhokla chickpea flour cake and i'm going to use uh, one cup of uh, besan or chickpea flour quarter of a cup of uh, curd uh, about uh, half teaspoon of salt one third of a teaspoon of chilies uh, about half a teaspoon of uh, haldi or turmeric and uh, one tablespoon of sugar half of which i will be using in the mixture and half for garnishing and uh, half a teaspoon of brown mustard seeds rye for uh, the garnishing and i'm going to use uh, uh, fruit salt which is eno and one uh, lemon for the garnishing i'll be using uh, kadi patta curry leaves um one medium onion chopped and uh, two green chilies i'm going to make this in the microwave and uh, first of all i have added the besan curd uh, turmeric chili and salt and i'm going to mix it up i also added a little water to make the mixture of this consistency you can uh, add only curd if you want and in that case you can add one cup of curd i'm going to add half of the lemon juice and half of the sugar at this juncture the other sugar i will use in the garnishing and mix it up so <coughs> add the <coughs> fruit salt and mix the mixture is fermented and i'm going to <clears throat> fill in the molds with the mixture and put it in the microwave for about 4 minutes check it once and then i'm going to garnish it so <clears throat> i'm going to put the mold in the microwave and give it about 4 and a half minutes so i have <coughs> made another batch of uh, the dhokla uh, i put 1 tablespoon of semolina suji also in this as it makes it a little crispier so you can use that if you like and i'm going to steam it in the pressure cooker or a big pan you just need to add water at the bottom a small stand so that it can hold the mixture up and i'm going to shut the cover without the pressure on it and steam it for about 10 minutes the microwave it uh, dhokla is almost ready however i feel this is a bit portion is a bit raw so i'm going to give it another minute in the microwave so this is how the mini dhokla cakes look after i had demolded them from the mold and now i'm going to prepare the garnishing the tadka I have heated about one spoon of oil, and I'm going to add the green chili first. The oil is hot, that's why they are fluttering. And I'm going to add the rice or the mustard seeds and the curry powder. Then I'm going to add a water mixture of about. One spoon, uh, half a lemon, and half of the sugar in it. And I'm going to boil this before pouring it on top of the dhokla. So I'm going to add the chopped onions over these mini dhokla cakes, and then I'm going to add the garnish. So I have boiled 
the mixture, water mixture, for about two three minutes. And now I'm going to pour it on top of the dhokla so that it becomes moist, sweet, and sour. There, my other dhokla has been cooking for about five seven minutes now and I'm going to check whether it is done or not. So I put the needle in. It's coming out a little wet. So I'm going to be let it on for another 